Number five, what are the x coordinate and the y coordinate of the center of mass for the uniform plate show in this figure over here if L is equal to five centimeters? So the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to split the plate into three different pieces. So the red one is our piece number one. The blue one is our piece number two. And the green one is our piece number three. So our strategy here is that we find the center of mass of each piece individually. For example, this is the center of mass of the red one. This is the center of mass of the blue one. And this is the center of mass of the green one. And then if we have the center of mass of the three different pieces, we would, our system become a system of three different particles. And then we can calculate the center of mass of a system composed of three particles. We know how to do that. So that's our strategy. And since the plate is uniform, the center of mass of each piece is exactly at its middle. So for example, the red piece, the center of mass, it's in the middle of the piece. And that's pretty much it for our strategy. Let's remember that this is our coordinate, the, the, the origin of our coordinate system it is over here. And now all you have to do is to write the center of mass of each piece. So for the red piece, for example, the x coordinate of its center of mass is L over uh, 2L, right? And the center of mass, the, the y coordinate of its center of mass, it is in this position, which is 2.5L. So 2.5L. For the blue piece, its x coordinate is minus L and its y coordinate its y coordinate it's minus 0.5 l right because this is 7 this is 7 l so half of 7 would be 3.5 so this is 3.5 l and this is half minus half l minus l over 2 for the green piece we have its x coordinate, it's L, and its y coordinate, it's minus 3, right? This is minus 3. Minus 3 L. Okay, so now we can write the equation for the center of mass of the system. So the x coordinate of the center of mass is equal to 1 of the sum of the masses times the sum of i equals to 1 until n of mi x i. Okay, so that's the equation that we are going to use. However, we don't know their masses. Okay, we don't know their masses, but we can infer their masses from their superficial area. For example, the area of the area of the the blue part the a2 let's call it a2 is equal to 2l times 7l so it is 14l squared right the red one a1 is equal to l times 4 so is 4l times l is 4l squared and the green one is again 2 times 2 which is equal to 4l squared so the whole volume is composed from the three pieces and if we sum the area of the three pieces we are going to find let's say 14 plus 4 plus 4 which is 18 22l squared so for example the whole mass the mass of the system is proportional to how much was that? 22? 22 L squared. So, for example, A1 is equal to 4 L squared, which is equal to the whole mass times 4 L squared over 22 L squared. Do you know what I'm doing here? 
can you notice I'm doing the proportion proportion of the masses so the the mass of the red part m1 we can call it the whole mass times let cross this out times 4 over 22 m2 is going to be the whole mass times 14 over 22 14 over 22 and m3 is going to be the mass of the system times 4 over 22 as well the same as the first one okay so i'm just doing taking the proportion of the areas and use it to find the mass in terms of the whole mass of the system because we are going to cross out with this m over here so the x coordinate of the center of mass is going to be 1 over m which multiplies the red one m times 4 over 22 times x1 which is 2 times l plus the blue one which is m times 14 over 22 times minus l plus m times 4 over 22 times l okay so we can cross out the masses over here and then we have let's see 8 over 22 l minus 14 over 22 l plus 4 over 22 l sorry l it's not above it is here it's not below it is above okay so now this is equal to minus 2 over 22 l so this is equal to minus 2 times 5 over 22 and this is equal to let's see this is equal to 10 over 22 0 0.45 roughly minus 0 0.45 centimeters so that's the position of the x coordinate of the center of mass of the, the of this plate over here that's the answer of letter a for letter b we have to do the same thing but for the y direction so the y direction of the center of mass is going to be the sum of the masses 1 over the sum of the masses times i equals to 1 until n of m i y i it's almost the same equation as this one okay so this is 1 over the sum of the masses times m times 4 over 22 times 2.5 l plus m times 14 over 22 times minus l over 2 plus m times 4 over 22 times minus 3L, right? So again, we can cross out the masses. So this is going to be 10 over 22L, so 4 times 2.5, it's 10, minus 7 over 22L, minus 12 over 22L. So this is equal to, let's see, this is equal to 19 nine minus 9 over 22 L. And this is equal to, let's see, equal to 9 times 5 divided by 22, roughly minus two centimeters and that's the answer of letter b and that's it